Welcome back. Episode 14 of the Swindon Lot. And it's good to have your ears, eyes and mouths. Mouths not really necessary for this. Anyway, we'll start off. Uh, our form's been very good. If you have a look around, league position third. I'll show you how we're there in just a moment. But we've got four wins to show you. The first of which comes against Derby County. Uh, Angelo with the first. And then a sending off, actually, for Alan Sheehan. He's still the reckless tackle. He flies in there, lunge, if anything. Uh, gets himself a red card. Puts us under pressure with uh, 20 minutes to go. I think it's 20 minutes to go. Yeah, 20 minutes to go. And uh, luckily for us, McAvoy, the Bay all look alike breaks through gets a goal uh, and that pretty much sealed it they didn't come back into the game after that which was lucky for us the next game was an absolute cracker we scored all five goals uh, Swansea were the opponents Swansea's team still very very good even though they're still in the championship still a very good team uh, McCann scores their first goal yes he's my player heads it into the back of the net beautiful header as well actually shame you can't do that for me uh, next up Ryan Mason Proving his worth at long last. Uh, a few games in it took him, but he finally got himself a goal. Gilfie Sigurdsson then powers one, and following him fails to deal with it and gets credited with the own goal. So there's another Swansea goal, which was scored by my player. Uh, so 2 1 down. I'm a little bit annoyed, it's fair to say. Uh, luckily, we go, grab a goal back and it makes it 2 2. So then, you know, late on, we start ramping up the pressure. In the 92nd minute, Ryan Mason pops up with a muted celebration. I'm not even sure Swansea are a former club. Um, but yeah, very happy with that. As you can see from the highest average rating on the right-hand side there, Enriquez with a 7.83, uh, a brilliant start to his career at Swindon. And I couldn't be happier. Uh, he's playing very, very well. We've scored 19, conceded 11. Enriquez, obviously, our top goal scorer with five goals uh, and 19 points. So yeah, third place so far. Not too bad at all. And you can see from our form down the bottom there, a loss to Bolton, a win against Blackburn, uh, a win against Palace, Ipswich, and then a loss against the bottom of the table side, Huddersfield, which is very, very annoying. Uh, this goal, uh, you may, have, if you're watching, that was uh, from the kickoff. We scored the first one. Actually, no, sorry, it's from the half-time break uh, from the kickoff, and then they get their goal. A little consolation in the 47th minute. Couldn't add to it, uh, which meant we ran out 2-1 winners. Uh, and then finally, another 3-2 victory. We're all about the 3-2 victories at the moment. Uh, Bonner, I'm going to nickname him, gets the first uh, from close range. Lovely ball whipped in from the left-hand side. Then they get their goal. What an absolute calamity this is, by the way. Keep your eyes on it. The keeper doesn't move through the entirety of that, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, but luckily for us, penalty. Bonner steps up, hits it home. Lovely goal. Uh, that made it 2-1, but we sealed it. McCann, edge of the area. Lovely sweeping cross come shot <laughs> from the edge of the box and it goes in. They get a consolation, but no matter, we ran out 3-2 winners. And uh, yeah, that takes us into the game against Reading. I wonder who plays for them these days. So then, lots of things to talk about before we get into today's game against Craig Tanner's Reading. Uh, so as you can see, we, last time we met was the Fulham game. Uh, I'll just show you some highlights. We did lose a couple of games in there that I didn't show you. Uh, the Huddersfield loss recently and the Bolton loss. Disappointing, uh, as well as a draw at home against Bournemouth. Bournemouth didn't do that well last year, so I was disappointed with that too. Uh, we also knocked out the Capital One Cup to a strong West Brom side. Uh, so what should we talk about? Let's go to tactics first. We've got a screen to show you. We're staying up like this still. Uh, it's been interesting. Craig, uh, Craig Davis has been playing relatively well for us, as you can see there. Six goals in ten games. So it was hard to leave him out, but as you can see, these top two now of Ange uh, Angelo Enriquez and Federico Bonner, which is what I'm going with, um, <laughs> are playing very, very well together. Ryan Mason, not having as much of an impact as I might hope, but uh, when you've got two strikers who are pretty much bang in form, uh, Bono's recently come back from international duty, so that's why he's not played as many games. Uh, you can't have too many complaints. In this game, we are playing a, few, a little bit of a changed system. Craig McGee, Craig McGee, Cameron McGee, on loan from Norwich, didn't show you this last episode, he was brought in late doors as cover in a few areas. Um, he's playing right back for us today. Very solid, very solid indeed. Hopefully he could fill in uh, needs to be. Just a backup, but a very strong backup. And also Danny Graham's been brought in. I wanted to have four strikers at the club. Uh, and he was available on a free transfer, so I thought, why not snap him up? Uh, even at the age of 31, he's still very, very good. And uh, will obviously fit in when players like Davis aren't eligible. He's also a bit of a target man, as is Bonner, so... Uh, Looking forward to using those two. In the middle of the park, we're playing Reeves and McCann. Uh, Diakite sat just behind them. We've got a few injuries, a few tired legs out there. Uh, Luongo, Alan Sheehan's come back from his suspension. Naughty boy. And Jack Stevens is out injured today, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, if we go to our club then, Reading is considered a little bit of a rivalry. A uh, local derby, in fact. And old boy Craig Tanner uh, is, uh, is under our favoured personnel, would you believe it? Not playing too many games for them. Only featured, uh, I believe it's once this season. Will he feature today? That's the big question. I've got no idea. Uh, it would be a bit of a curveball if they did. I don't know how I'd feel about it. Uh, so let's crack onto the game against Reading. We're at home, um, so always feel confident about a home game. Can we pull it out of the bag? Obviously, we've got Baiki Amarugu uh, at the back, which is a bit different because he's not usually there. 
Jack Stevens, as I mentioned, is injured. There's the league table, though. Look at that. 19 points, level with Bristol, Blackburn and Aston Villa. Burnley leading the pack. So it's very tight at the top, uh, but we're we're nicely in the mix of it. And that's where we want to be. I'm not expecting automatic promotion. When you've got teams like Swansea still in this division, Blackburn, uh, Cardiff, Villa, Burnley, you're probably not expecting automatic promotion. But a challenge at the playoffs is definitely on the cards. Uh, and I hope that's what we can achieve this year go out there and enjoy yourselves today uh they've sort of responded to that not in the ways that i was hoping uh, but i'm hopeful that we can do a job against reading i didn't actually see how reading were doing uh, obviously we're in 3d because it's only one game and i've made promises and i must stick to those promises so let's see how we get on um i'm relatively optimistic i'm just going to check the league table see where reading are currently in the league table they are ninth place, so they're not too far behind us. A win for them today may well see them rise above us. Uh, and that's potentially a penalty, not given. And we've smashed it clear. Um, if we can have the ball back here, we're going to be in a very nice position. If we can turn the ball over very quickly, ball through to the top, Mason's onto it. Oh, bit of a slide tackle. Bono's onto it, though. Can he finish it from there? Oh, it's always going to be a tricky angle for him. Uh, but he did the best of what he was given. And it's a corner kick. McCann will take it. An outswinging left footer. Or an in-swinging left footer, Ben, technically. Uh, and Karachan now brings it clear for Reading. And this is quite the run. Hopefully we can halt that. And that's a great tackle by Matuk. Uh, they just keep it in, but the highlight is now over. So yeah, the Swindon save so far. Still going very, very well. I seem to say that every single episode, but it's so enjoyable to play. Uh, and I'm enjoying making the episodes for you that I'm just constantly on a high. Uh, we've not had any bad form for a while, so not too much to be disappointed about obviously the uh the loss to huddersfield was annoying and there's mason getting a goal i didn't actually check speaking of mason every time i mention him i think of craig tanner i can't deny um he's on the bench so we could see craig tanner come on in the second half imagine if he does and does something oh no it's going to be awful especially after last episode's uh you know moment we'll call it but yeah this is a great goal mccann Back to Matuk, whips the ball in. Bono kind of gets stuck, but Mason's on hand as the shadow striker with attacking instincts to prod home. Uh, Federici's way out of his goal there. If we can nab this back quickly. McCann's got there. He's gone for goal, as McCann. Oh, my great! I rarely see that happen in 3D, but my word. What an effort. That was magical. Oh, imagine if that goes in. Anyway, corner now to Reading. Got to defend this well. Corners have not been our strong point this season. Um, Diakite, men ahead of him. Manages to find one. Bonner now onto it. We've got men flooding forward. Mason's one of them. Enriquez is another. Whipped in. Mason at the front post. Can he pull it back? Oh, he's, he's gone for goal there, has he? Oh. But that's never going to cut it, is it? We know it's not. Uh, Obita now on the left-hand side. Good block challenge. Ball whipped in, though. Cox onto it. Goal. Six, yard out. Six yards out even. Obviously, Jack Stevens not in the middle for us today. Uh, I, I don't want to say that's made too much difference, but it's certainly a an influencing factor or an influential factor. If you watch the uh, the space Cox gets into, no one picks him up, chests it down with ease, and fires past Fodderingham, who couldn't get there. And uh, I've got to be honest, if you looked at the stats, I'll show you the stats just before I show you the highlight of each game. We have been a little bit lucky, I would say. There's a few teams that should have given us an absolute paste in, and we've managed to come out of wins each time. And my word, they've hit the post. Buckley, with a massive effort there. We managed to get rid of it and clear it well. But holy moly. <laughs> they're, they are coming on strong. 1-1 one, one at half time. I never think a draw at half time is a bad result because it still gives us a chance to do something with the game. Surely he wasn't going to shoot from there. Free kick, though, to Reading. Another chance for them. As the second half is coming to a close. Unless, of course, we turn defence into attack. Lovely little rolled back heel from Mason. It's a shame that it didn't quite connect with another player of ours. Uh, flicking it forward. Tell you what, he's winning everything in the air. Mason now onto the ball. Enriquez. Can the two guys up front do something magical once again? They work together brilliantly. One of them's a bit more stationary. One's very, very mobile indeed. And uh, Mason, can he find one of them? Tripped there from the Reading player. We keep control of the ball. Continue to recycle it. Diakite, Mason controlling everything at this point. Lovely to see. Enriquez, can he slip it through for one of his teammates? Mason's onto it. Oh, Mason straight at the keeper. You expect more. And then he sort of flies into a challenge <laughs> as he dives on the floor. We've still got the ball, though. Could there still be a chance coming Swindon's way? Reeves, he's got a man over on the right-hand side. Good tackle by Guthrie. 
and, uh, and that's going to see the end of that spell of pressure. But it's nice to see us working the ball. Obviously, as I mentioned, team shape's on fluid now. Um, so I do want us to work the ball a little bit more than we may have done in the past. In fact, I'm also going to change it to counter-attack, just for the first 20 minutes or so of the second half, see if we can make something happen. So far, so good. So I hope you're still enjoying the 3D look. I think it's uh, it's not something a lot of FM YouTubers do, I don't think. So I'm, I'm going to sort of incorporate it. I also think it's nice to have it kind of slowed down. You can enjoy the moment, like watch the mill, uh, the, the move build up. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's good. I like it. That is a wasted free kick. And if McCann can find someone out here, he's got a guy out on the left, Angelo Enriquez, rushing forward. Can he beat his man or can he get a shot on goal? He beats his man once. Oh, he's surely been found. Shem Karakan or Karashan, sorry, has absolutely nailed him. And Bono, since he's been in the team, has been our our penalty taker. And it looks to me like he's stepping up once again. You think he got a goal against Ipswich? You may well have seen in the highlights package. Can he do it all over again? The tension is building. <laughs> Here we go. Can he pop it in for us to make it 2-1? Slams it into the bottom right-hand corner. Excellent finish. I am just going to keep an eye on the... Uh, the Reading team ratings. I just want to see if they bring on a certain man on their bench. Uh, you never, never know. But as, as you can see here, penalty. Cool karma collected. Keeper guesses the right way, but the penalty is too good, uh, as we remember in the first episode. And Delo Enriquez smashed one over the bar quite dramatically. Um, so we're still on counter. I quite like it. I think our wide guys are playing well. Actually, McGeehan, obviously replacing Nathan Thompson today playing very well indeed Mason's on to it and again McGeehan good engine on him ball into the middle Angelo Enriquez gets it down oh I'll tell you what what a goal I hope it counts please be onside it's not onside it was a lovely worked move but I was a little bit hesitant especially when you can't see the ref in 3D you're never quite sure um, Tanner still hasn't come on you'd think they might do it I'm going to go defensive and waste time for the last few moments of the game just so we can secure it throw in Redden's way this would be a big win and a bit of a two fingers up to the Reading board who would not release really... Craig Tanner. He's just gone for an overhead kick. I've never seen it happen before. Holy mother. Please let me watch it again because it was quite spectacular. I hope you don't mind, folks. What on earth? I Rarely do you see overhead kicks happen in Football Manager, but that was ridiculous. And I want to see it again, frankly. Jeffrey Schlupp of all men pirate into the back post and a bicycle kick it nearly goes in it's a great save he's given offside i think but my word <sighs> and relax and there's the win as we know so we'll take that a 2-1 win against reading a dramatic end to the game imagine if an overhead kick scored as you can see once again didn't have as many shots didn't have as much possession but we still come out with a win and that puts us level on points with villa and blackburn at the top we've got a game in hand on blackburn as well um so we'll just have a little look we'll see who we've got next game and then i will leave you hope you've enjoyed the video if you have done please leave a like and if you want to see more subscribe to the channel we'll just quickly find out who we've got in our next game and what i shall bring you uh let's go around the christmas period let's go to preston why not I think we've been to Preston for, some, for quite some time, if at all. Actually, no, no, forget that. Leeds. We've got to go for Leeds. They did us last time. They ruined our lunch and our Christmas dinners. Um, so, yeah, we'll go for Leeds, I think. So, I'll see you then. So, from me, Dr. Benji, thank you very much for watching. Your support, as always, is very much appreciated. And I will see you next time. With love. Goodbye.